I've often been asked for this video but never really made it. How do you stay motivated through these really challenging GCSE or A-level years? One thing is focus on the end game. If you're dreaming of coming to a university like Cambridge and studying with the greatest minds in physics or in any subject, then you need to make sure that you've focused on that through those kind of dark November hours when you're studying and everyone else is texting you to come out and party and all that stuff. If you're really committed, then it's a really important thing to be taking breaks because all of us can have burnout at times. Get back involved with some of your hobbies. Find something that you used to enjoy doing. Have a little go at that for a while and hopefully that will revitalise your interest to move on to the next thing, which is going to be getting those GCSEs, A-levels or degrees. Focus on the big picture. Why should you care about this? Physics is absolutely amazing and you should be enjoying studying it. If you're not enjoying studying it, then I suggest you go ahead and find a reason to love it. Find a reason to love doing your homework, to love doing your studies. For me, what really gives me the kick with physics at the minute is doing the experiments and getting the results. When I get some quality results from just some old dusty equipment that I've got at school, it makes me so happy and so glad that I'm a physics teacher. Make it beautiful. Make your notes something that you really enjoy looking over. Make it meaningful. Make it mean something to you. Don't just be copying out endlessly what other people have written about the physics. For me, it was fundamental physics that really got me into it. And I was absolutely fascinated. I remember my uh, teacher advised me to take the astrophysics module because they felt that was what they could help me with the most in my A-level. But I said, no, that was going to be dull for me. I wasn't going to enjoy that. So I did the fundamental physics, the particle physics. So I had to study it on my own. Later, astrophysics kind of opened up to me and I found that really fascinating as well. So as I say, find a reason to love what you're studying. Physics is the most challenging subject, but it's also the most kind of amazing subject that there is. When it feels too hard, you've got to ask. Your teachers are there to help you. When it feels too hard, you've got to tell somebody. When you're feeling not very motivated, have a conversation that will help you get out of that rut and get back to who you want to be and get back to the person that you know you can be, absolutely banging those exams. Most of all, enjoy doing the subjects that you're doing, not preparing for the exam. Physics is not an exam. The exam is just a way for you to show someone that you're ready for the next step. And part of preparation does not have anything to do with the syllabus, the textbooks or practice questions. It's about preparing yourself to show your skills as a physicist or whatever subject that we're talking about. That requires no more than just what's on the exam specification. So read around it. Get yourself a subscription to a related magazine. Read what's in the popular science and nature columns because they're very much in the consciousness of the people that are going to be writing those exams in the kind of wider uh, physics and science community. Watch lots of related videos. So watch things that are about physics that aren't necessarily directly to do with your course. Not just tutorial type videos, but try and find things that I think make you think, wow, yes, I really want to be part of this. I really want to learn this so I can be at the cutting edge of these subjects. <laughs> I don't really know what it is about the fundamental physics, but you know, there's something about that that I just find fascinating. I don't know what it is about these pictures from the Hubble telescope, but looking at them, you just think, oh, we're so small, we're such a tiny part of this amazing thing. And that makes me feel really inflated rather than insignificant. It makes me feel like, wow, I belong to this race of people who can actually understand the tiny things that make up an oxygen atom and understand where stars are from and how stars come to be. And it's things like that that make me want to go into work every day and impart that enjoyment and impart that love of my subject to my students. I also get paid pretty well, so that's, that's part of it as well. And it's such a rewarding career. 